Good morning. I've heard him referred to as Doubting Thomas. But after rereading the John 20 passage, I wonder if it would be more appropriate to call him Demanding Thomas. I'm rather taken back by his bold statement. Listen again to the interaction. John 20, 24. Now, Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the mark of the nails, and place my finger into the mark of the nails, and place my hand into his side, I will never believe. Never? That's disturbing. And make no mistake, Jesus doesn't go to Thomas because Thomas has demanded that he do so. And Thomas does not deserve what Jesus will do for him. His demand is a sin, an offense. And Jesus' kindness in going to him is a picture of his grace and how patient the Lord is with us. Continuing in John 20, eight days later, his disciples were inside again and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. From what the text implies, Thomas did not touch Jesus. He was put in his place, and you can sense that he is humbled by what Jesus has revealed. And he is graced to make his confession of faith. Jesus, you are my Lord, Master Sovereign. You are God the Son, and I believe. And then to make sure that anyone's expectations are in place, Jesus said, Have you believed because you've seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Well, Jesus would depart soon and return to heaven. He will not return until the end comes. Until then, no one can literally see Jesus like Thomas did. But the Spirit will reveal Jesus to us. And as we respond to grace and believe, we will be blessed. Today, you are blessed when you believe in the Lord Jesus. And today, you can inspire others to be blessed as they believe in the Lord Jesus. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. For those who come to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Well, Thomas would continue to believe. He would be filled with the Spirit on the day of Pentecost. He would become a bold, faithful witness for Christ. When persecutions intensified, it would eventually come to him Let's believe that on July 3rd, A.D. 72, Thomas was martyred because he would not deny the Lord. What a legacy, not tarnished by his doubt and demands, but honorable because he believed and persevered to the end and was saved. May we persevere to the end. Thank you for joining me this week. Peace be with you. May the Lord make you calmly cheerful as he sends you forth today to serve and honor him. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for your great love, your patience, kindness, and mercy. We love you today. And now, offer your prayers. God bless you.